Good morning everybody, how you guys doing? Woo. Sounds good, sounds good, nice way to start the day. I hope you guys are doing great, I hope you're killing it. I hope you got good stuff going on today because we sure do. We're going out to the Bonneville Salt Flats for a photo shoot. And when I say photo shoot, I'm not, I'm not talking about me, we're not doing a beard photo shoot. Although I'd be honored if anyone wanted to do a, a photo shoot with, with the beard, obviously. We're going to shoot the Shelby GT350. James is going out. He's taking the Aventador and the Gallardo. We got Clayton and Faith with Summit Auto Labs. They're going to take either their Dodge and some go-karts or the Porsche Cayman. Should be cool. Should be exciting. Bonneville Salt Flats. I assume you guys all know what that is. If you don't, uh, Google it because it's pretty epic. There's a cop. This guy's lights on. We got a break. Easy. It's not me. Windows down. Tint. Windows down. All right, not getting this guy for tent. It's it's legal, it's perfectly legal. Always obey the law. So today should be a good day, but before we play, I gotta go to work. And don't tell my coworkers I gotta bail a little early, but I gotta put in about seven hours today. I already went to the gym this morning, got up at 4.30, uh, 4.45, I'm gonna be honest, 4.45, had a solid workout, had a protein shake, so started off the right way. So I made it to the office and you guys know what that means. It means I gotta leave you in the trunk, but don't worry, it's only seven hours. It'll go by like a flash, I promise. See, I told you it wouldn't be that long. Actually, I'll be honest. It wasn't seven hours. I forgot I have a dentist appointment today. But it's cool, I, I don't mind the dentist. I don't see what the problem is. They clean your teeth, you feel good, you feel fresh. Dentist, they're great. Fortunately, my dentist is not far from my office, so it should be a quick in and out. This is just a checkup. And I've been going to this dentist my entire life. And I'm sure you guys wanted to know that. That's very important, meaningful, useful information. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Killing me. Now, a dentist is important because when you can rev to 8,250 RPMs, it puts a smile on your face, and you want that smile to look fresh and clean. We did it. Was there ever a doubt? Nope. Never a doubt. Smiles for days, boys. See, the work day just flies by when you're having fun. I'm telling you what, guys. Bonneville Salt Flats, here we come. James and the squad already left, so we got to make up some time, but uh, don't worry. We got the faster vehicle, right? So we got 526 horses but we have no pasture. Also, the Google Maps news is devastating. Plus 33 minutes. Uh, James and them, they're up there already. They're waiting for us at the Taco Bell. Okay, so here's the situation. We made it through traffic, finally. Gotta love it. We pulled off, and as we were getting off the exit to where we are supposed to meet up, well, a purple Lamborghini, an orange Gallardo, and a gray Porsche came and passed us. Yeah, that's right, they gave up and they left. So we had to get gas, get some snacks, and they're out there on the road somewhere, so we're looking for them. Reception sketchy, keep our eyes peeled, old fashioned way, on the highway, looking for some Lamborghinis. Here's an update, we are chasing them down. It's American Muscle versus Italian Beauties. Can the Mustang Shelby GT350 chase down a Lamborghini Gallardo and a Porsche Cayman and a Lamborghini Aventador? I believe we can, boys. I believe America can do it, and we're gonna do it. Let's 
let's go. just he who gets there first right we passed him eventually you know he hit the brakes he slowed down but we still passed him and that counts that counts all right so here's the situation we made it intact and I, I know James is saying it we didn't crash so I feel like I always need to clarify that mostly for him and an anti Mustang people we got the Gallardo the Cayman Mustang GT rented rented by the photographers they know how to rent in style and then the Aventador of course we are at the Bonneville Salt Flats you guys all know it you know about it if you don't know about it and want to hear a 30 minute documentary I'd be happy to film one especially if you're having trouble sleeping at night soothe you right to sleep we came out here for a photo shoot but uh, if you can't tell there's a lot of water and uh, that's a problem they're up there right there discussing what we're gonna do and I'm just I'm just hanging out because I don't contribute. I'm security. I don't have to do anything. I just stand around and keep an eye on everybody and make sure make sure we're good, so. Oscar, Oscar. He doesn't listen to me. Doesn't listen to me, look at that. Nothing, nothing. Food, snack, bathroom, anything? Sit, roll over, play dead? Nope. All right guys, I want to tell you guys a story about cars and bears. It's a good story. Smoky National Park in eastern the eastern u.s we were driving through smoky national park in that black 2013 gtcs that i have that i sold to my dad i bought it in south carolina so i'm driving that car back from south carolina all the way to utah awesome story maybe i'll fill you guys in i don't know if you care but anyways we're driving through the smoky national park it's a convertible and we had the top down and we're just chilling we're just moving along and all of a sudden we realize everyone's on the side of the road stopped looking up so we kind of slow down and we look up. Remember, no roof in the car. 20 feet directly above our heads, some black bears chilling on the branch that's hanging over the road. So we, uh, of course, just paused and enjoyed the view, realized we were in a situation where if the bears fell, then uh, that'd be interesting. I was prepared to wrestle a bear. Don't worry about that. I was, I was all for it. But it was super cool. When I start telling stories, I tend to get distracted. I, uh, yeah, I'm out in the middle of nowhere. But yeah, this is uh, awkward. The group's over there, and I'm here, standing in salt water. In case you guys are curious, this water is super clear. It's about four inches deep, and it's salt. Not snow, salt. All the way, baby, all the way. Bonneville Salt Flats. Um, right here, with the wheels turned that way, as hard as, hard as it can go, keep going, keep going, whoa, right there. Believe it or not, my number has been called. The Shelby is in the photo shoot with an Aventador. This is what you call pressure. My baby, next to that guy. That's, that's, that's intense. That's right, GT350, you belong. Four exhausts. Four exhaust, same thing. Coming soon to a vlog near you, 
five reasons the Shelby is way better than the Aventador. You want me to rev it right now? I can rev the Aventador. Five reasons. I'll rev it uh -huh. right now. Five. Hundred percent. I can man. name, oh, 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 name ten. The man, the myth, the legend. Uh, there's American Heritage. Yours is like, you have white wheels. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. You have way more air intake on the Shelby than you do on the Aventador. Mods are cheaper. Mods are you don't cheaper. have to pay 10, 16 industries, 10 grand to swap out your hood. You guys all want to yep. jump? And yep. And yo, yo, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Enough is enough, jeez. One more, uh, one more. One more. Only one of these cars arrived with a girl in the passenger seat. Oh! It's getting dark. We got Oscar just eating all the camera equipment. Photo shoot going on firm. We got Clayton, James, Bilko, and AJ Photography. Check them out, links below. Full moon. This is a good way to end the day. We did it, we made it home. It's 11.30 at night and I'm exhausted, but if you notice, we're the only car in the garage. Shelby GT350, we beat the Lambos. Hope you guys are having a good time. I hope you're killing it this week. Peace.